We're not equipped to care for this many refugees, revered mother. The Maker will provide us with a way. Tomasa Thren said she'd be up all night finding enough blankets for everyone. That may be the way the Maker provides. Well, we're back to lick our wounds after the fiasco that was us trying to deal with the undead, and I figured why not check with Mother Giselle before we go to the war room and, I don't know, probably go back to the hinterlands and get more power and try to find our way to another quest. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Well, you know how these things go. Well, at least I hope someone does. You laugh to bring a little light into the darkness. And I'm glad to see it. Too many see laughter as antithetical to the chant of light. They imagine Andraste as a grim warrior all her life, forgetting that she loved and was loved in return. I hope she found time for laughter during her trials, as I hope you do. I appreciate your insight, Mother Giselle. Take it for whatever it is worth. You walk a difficult path, and there is little enough I can do to aid you. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Farewell. Until next time. Well, that was worthwhile. It looks like we got the Lotus and Root, so we just got a new quest for, uh, I should probably to get more power, but it's another re requisition requirement, so that's just another thing to look out for while we're gathering. So, does Leliana have anything to report? Because we just sent her- okay, report. Report. Have so you kept in touch with our friends in Lady Esterly's estate? Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. All right, let's check out these reports of the people I sent out last episode. So, Hard in Hightown, which was the, uh... That's, that's Varric's novel being posted. So who did we send? Did we send Liliana for this? Uh, my dear Liliana, your author friend is truly a mystery. Our search uncovered only a straw, a string of foreign accounts. The trail of coin led from Antiva to Tevinter to the free marches of Orlais. Someone hid their tracks well, but not well enough. Your writer is in Kirkwall, and remember, you owe me a favor. Hey! Our reward is an amulet of power. I think that gives us a st an extra skill point, if, if it's anything like last time. That's actually really good to find. Okay, these are good to look into. Uh, address the nobleman's concerns. Actually, I remember these quests a little bit less distinctly, but let's look into them anyway. Terran of High Ever, Ambassador Motliet. The Inquisition em uh, uh, emissaries were a welcome addition to our vigil. As a token of my thanks, I am sending Ferelden arms for our troops. May the Maker grant you ever may, may, may the Maker grant you never need them. Sincerely, Tevin Fergus Kuzland. We got a Captain Longsword. Less cool because it might not be an upgrade. But we'll look into it. Ooh, 60 influence. That's not bad. Address the nobleman's concerns. Commander Cullen, am I to understand you are in charge of the soldiers trampling my lands, providing food and refuge to the scrabble of filth burrowing into my land? A plague on you, sir, for spitting in the face of an honest petitioner, for taking advantage of my distress. Did my wretched neighbor, Bantraft, whisper in your ear? Tell me what he paid you, paid you so that I may at least know the price of your treachery, sir. My only consolation is that a few of the rank and file have gone to join your farce in the Inquisition. Okay, well, at least we got influence, which is always good to get. That means it will help our uh, Inquisition level up. That is not 
a, that is definitely a worthwhile thing. Let's see, Hyde and Hartown has one completed thing, but it has more to go. So I can actually send some. Looks like I can send someone else to. Uh, okay, let's let's see what let's see what goes on here with Varric's Revenge. No, it's just, it's just as completed, and that's it. Okay, I thought it would disappear, but I guess. Well, I guess we'll look into that later. So is this another thing? Gather gather coin. This must be a quest I can send someone else on. Up until now, the Inquisition forces have had the, had the benefit of the Chantry's deep coffers. Now the Inquisition is forced to seek out its own sources of revenue if it is to continue to grow further. Trade in and out of Haven is limited at this point, but there are various opportunities to earn coin, provided the Inquisition is willing to force its efforts, focus its efforts on the manor. Man, if I could send anyone, I'd probably want to send Varric. He'd probably know a thing or two about this, being a dwarf and everything. Let's see. So Colin wants to protect the uh, caravans. Leliana would, wants to collect secrets and sell them. And Josephine uh, says, Trading in favors with merchants and the nobility is my specialty. I could earn us a great deal if we're careful. I mean, yeah, Josephine seems like the obvious person to send on a mission like this. So let's go ahead and send her. Looks like she'll be gone for nearly an hour. Let us begin. It's funny because you'll 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 get a glimpse into my editing style if you're really careful. You'd be like, "All right, what what where what is exactly 48 minutes from now, and how much time actually passed?" Because oftentimes I cut all sorts of video out. Although if I get a good if I get a good rhythm going on, maybe we won't need that. But anyway, that's it for for Elden. Can I send anyone anywhere in Orlay? Oh, there's one. Contact with the Valocross mercenaries. I think this is something that requires power, right? Four power. That might be what I try to do next. It's, that's probably where they wanted me to go next, maybe? It's hard to tell. They kind of let me go wherever I want. And this is, uh, required power for investigate the shards. Oh, the shards! That, those, are what, those are what I've been collecting, so it's something about that will go on here. But it looks like this is all I can go for now, so con contact with Velocom mercenaries. Adar. I heard you were dead, and then a prisoner, and then maybe you fell out, out of the fade and landed on your head and forgot who you were. Seriously, stop that. We haven't- we still haven't been paid. Oh! Right! Okay, because I'm a Kunari, and to, to simplify things, they make you play as a Kunari who is not part of the Kun, their sort of way of life slash religious order thing. Um, I think every Kunari you play as in this game always is from the Valoka mercenaries, so that's actually his origin. And so they're talking about me being missing, of course. Uh, some of our Keith made it out of the giant shithole full of demons after the ex ex after the explosion. The rest are dead or missing. I don't know how many were rounded up by angry humans. If you're not dead and you remember who you are, help me find our brothers and sisters. Shukrakar. If you forgot who you are, I'll remind you. Your name is Adar. You're, Va you're Vashoth. You didn't get paid for being blown up. PPS, if you are dead, disregard this message. <laughs> Alright, so obviously we can't sell this guy. Let's see, what would you say anyway? The nobles are likely keeping Canari from crossing their lands. We can negotiate passage. That's not, not a terrible idea, but how about the people that are actually available? Liliana, many of Tal Vashoth were likely captured and imprisoned after the Conclave. Our agents could free them. Colin, we can send a patrol to find the scattered Tal Vashoth mercenaries in the wilderness. Uh, trying to free people with rogues probably sounds better, because if you're freeing someone, it's clear that you're helping at least. If I send Colin just to go find random people in the wilderness, how do I know that they're not going to just see it as an attacking human army and attack them? So I'm going to send Liliana. Let's see what we have. And that's actually that's only going to take her 12 minutes, really. Even though she's going to travel all the way to uh, all the way to Orlay <laughs> and try to deal with that problem. But anyway, now that we've sent people on their little missions to get us items and things, time to go. The only, the only thing really to go now, since I can't I can't do the Ferelden missing troops thing because that story mission is super fucking high level compared to where I am. So let's go back to scouting the hinterlands, and I think all that's really left. Uh, let's see the bottom part. Commander Colin asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horse master of Redcliffe who lives in the area. We tried to contact him about obtaining better horses for the Inquisition, but we've been able to get through the, the fighting. So I think I'm going to continue to pursue the whole horse quest and try to get him to aid us, because I think that's the best line of action to pursue in the, in the Hinterlands, which is more or less what I was doing already. So, let's head in there. Word for you. Oh, and what is that? Lady? Uh, report. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Ah, uh, Drakestone Obsidian, Ram Leather, and Crystal Grace for the Puzzle Box requisition. 
So I need obsidian. I've already gotten basically everything else for that collection, which is always nice to know that I'm just, you know, doing generally awesome. You'll notice that I unlocked an e that extra slot for people, so now I can give everyone uh, fire bombs if I want to, in addition to their healing potions and regen regeneration potions. Uh, don't know how often that'll come up, but... Dwarven Puzzle Box. Gives you one power. These puzzles serve as entertaining diversions. <laughs> really, they're not even- they're just entertaining? Okay. Entertaining diversions for Inquisition soldiers, not to mention being useful for trade. They're useful for trade? Do they, are they just locks of some kind? I don't- I don't know what to make of this. Anyway, five obsidian is the missing thing here. Uh, cause I already have tons of drake stone for sure. Healing mixture is, uh, all, all I need is Elfrid and Blood Lotus. That's easy, I'll get that on accident. I just used it all up, and, uh, the, the, here's the Plague Elixir, which I won't get until I'm high enough level to actually fight properly. In that high level zone. Alright, let's, let's figure out where to teleport to. I had to remember for a moment there had to go to that screen for a moment. <laughs> so, uh, right now my goal is to... Let's see, there's a cave. So we had a few quests going on here, right? Because, uh... Let's see. Bring Feraldus to the tree line of the hill. Felanderis. Who is Felanderis exactly? I don't, I'm not sure what to make of that one. There's some shards. There we go. Let, let's go speak with Braun about farmland security and then maybe our horse friend will be happier with us. Okie dokie. Let's, let's get to this uh, camp. So to look at the item I got for a reward, looks like the Ferelden Captain Longsword is significantly weaker than the, any of the weapons I have, so that was a not worthwhile reward. But let's look into our accessories. Amulet of Power. Restriction, Varric only. So that quest gives us... Okie dokie, that, that quest gives us a new skill point for Varric. Ta-da! And so now, Varric should have... A, a, the ability to level up again. But, well, not level up, but get, have another point to spend at least, which is definitely a nice thing to have. What is this over here? Uh, that's the thing where you hurt people when they're not, when they're not hurt yet. This is the altitude advantage. I guess I didn't pick that up in this new version of my character. Because I, I went for a few more things in Sabotage, I think, this time around. So, poisoning weapons. Let's see. You do more damage with your weapons while poison weapons is active. So, damage bonus to 25% just for my weapons? That's actually pretty fucking crazy to get a 25% damage boost just from the weapons itself, on top of the poison damage. Uh, fighting dirty. All your sunder and poison effects last longer and you make... and as it, whoa, as you make more potent toxic, toxins and, and uglier wounds. I already have Sunder, right? Is it this one? No, that's the one, that's a different one. Caltrops. I saw some Sunder around here. Oh, there's Sunder. I still haven't bought it yet. So that makes you know, people's armor weaker. And if I get this skill, my poison and my, uh, my poison and armor reduction will actually last longer. That's not a bad thing to know about. But let's look into Hook and Tackle. Nope, I don't think I want to... I'm not going to want to pull myself towards people as this character. Throwing blades seems kind of redundant because I'm a ranged character. For now, I think I'm just going to upgrade my my uh, poison because he's he's supposed to be using uh, his poison ability all the time. So just doing a getting a general damage boost for Varric every time he's using poison sounds like a no-brainer to me. Okie dokie. So, where is our friend? Our local friend we need to talk to is... There we go. Speak with Bronn. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be very disappointed if, if I find out that the, uh, the horse racing quests are mandatory for satisfying the, uh, the horse master and helping the, uh, Inquisition. Cause that was- those are not exciting to do. Although, I guess you'll- you'll notice that I haven't even used a horse in the meantime. I kinda forgot they existed already. Uh, I guess there's a glitch on the Xbox version of this game. If you have a connect connect- if you have a connect attached, you could just say summon mount. And you can summon a mount regardless, even if you don't have a mount unlocked yet. It's just a, a work through people have found. So let's see what Bronn wants. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Farewell. Okay, so we need we need to fortify we need to work on fortifying this whole region. What I'm curious about is I'm doing all these quests to make the place safer and so on and so forth. I'm wondering if these genuinely make it safer like if I'm wandering around these areas later in the game, is it just going to be like a noticeably nicer zone to walk through with fewer, you know, evil wolves and incoming attackers? 
I guess one thing for sure is that, uh, if I'm destroying rifts, then those rifts are certainly gone. So that problem's genuinely dealt with. One point of curiosity, let's look at that hunger quest. Hunger pangs? Give ramming to- oh, wow, okay, okay so I, I did finish that. I'll have to go back and turn that in sometime, since I already completed it, apparently. Hunger pangs was the first quest I found that was one of those, like, this This is something you'll do eventually, I guess, type uh, requirements. Where, how do I get to this? Okay, it's up the slope. This isn't too bad. Question is, what is involved in setting up a watchtower? Was there enemies over there? Is that a rift or just random assholes? Okay. Mark location. Shink. So you just mark their locations. And I guess someone else is going to come in and take care of it? Is the implication there? So let's, let's take a look around for the other watchtower locations. There's one right here. Can, that's just downhill from... I thought I had a camp in that area. Is this the only camp I have here? I thought I had a camp closer to that. Oh well. And there's one... That, oh, that, that one's a little more awkwardly placed in a place I've never been to before. Next to a rift. I guess that could be what I go for next, is I could, I could go for uh, this rift and this farm spot. Probably right after I deal with uh, coming here for a farmland security. What is that? Oh, it's an Australium. So when I, when I found that one Australium and, and it did the beam across the whole zone, looks like it actually marked it on my map, so I know, that, I know where it is now. Okay, so... We don't really have a fast way to where I'm trying to go, do we? I guess I'll just teleport back to camp. And then I'll just make my way there. We're gonna go for a jog. I guess I can go on ma This is actually would probably be the smart time to go on horseback. Here we go. Hey, he just sort of shows up behind you. That's not weird. <gasps> okay, goodbye party. You don't exist anymore. I'm gonna go for a nice little jog. At least we get to have another look at this, uh, this seamless open world. Seriously though, I think I'm gonna cut this part out though. I'll see you guys later. I'm just... we've been here before. <laughs> huh. I actually got here surprisingly fast. I honestly... I probably only cut out like a couple second. uh... If I even bother editing that out at all, I probably only cut out like 10 seconds of footage. That relatively long distance looked way bigger. But I guess being on... Did I just jump? <laughs> Did I just jump plant that? Cause I'm not... I'm not... I don't have anything against that, but it's... It's kind of funny to me. Question is, how do I get up into these... How do I get to these kinds of locations for the watchtower and this rift? I'll make the rift my current goal. Hopefully this rift is safer than, uh, this little piece of bullshit over here. The farm rift that had level 12 monsters coming out of it. I'll try going up the river, I think. I'll show this part because it's mostly uncharted territory, I think. Please don't die, horse. There we go. That horse took that really big fall surprisingly well for a, like, 2,000 pound creature or however much horse's way. So we'll have to be careful because there's going to be a rift on my left up here somewhere. But hopefully I'll find a side path first that'll let me approach where I'm trying to go. Because that rift is not there to play around. It's another one of those level, tw level 12 things that I don't want to play with. There's a, a path in here. Ooh. Someone's been camped out here. We should investigate this, I think. We have a little chest. Boom, it's a trap! You die horribly! Or has a Magister Staff schematic and a Amulet of Willpower. Not terrible things to find. We have a bed. Not a whole lot of stuff in general, though. I guess we're just... it's time to continue on. <laughs> it's really funny to me that this thing can jump at all. So it's just an awkward, heavy animal. Oh, there's the rift. So this may not be the way I want to go. I don't have a lot of clear paths for getting in there, do I? There's, a, there's apparently a Druffalo up there? For a quest that I haven't done yet either. I suppose we could see if I could just run past the rift? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see if it spawns the same level 12 monster again, or if it'll take it easy on me this time. Uh, I guess I have to jump off the horse in order to enter this the right camera view? Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, how do I get... Can I, can I, get, can I go down there? Uh, can I please take the cursor off the ledge? Okay, it's not cool up. Okay, there we go. Uh, is it still level- it's still level 12? What's this thing? They're both level 12. Is that a path? That is a path. Maybe I can just run for it past this rift? Because this rift is clearly not meant to be dealt with right now. Nope. No, no, no. Don't disrupt- Okay, actually, disrupting that rift is not a terrible idea. It'll stun everybody for a moment. Can I get on the horse? I can't get back on the horse. Okay. 
Time to run! Run away! Run away! Tell everyone to disengage, just so that they don't make the mistake of trying to fight right now. Please don't fight, guys. You're gonna die down there. Did we make it? I'm just gonna oh, I'm just gonna say disengage again, just to make sure they're coming. They're coming. Okay. Hey, we didn't even take significant damage, and there's only one terrifying rock monster up here. Uh, what am I gonna find in here? Hopefully, the level 12 rift doesn't mean that everything past here is gonna be level 12 too, because that won't help me very much. Little elf root for that uh, healing mixture that uh, lady, that Mother Giselle wants. Keep an eye out for that and Blood Lotus, which is also pretty easy to find. There's monsters. Oh! Uh, is that a Druffalo? Hello, Mr. Druffalo. Lead the Druffalo back to the pasture. Oh, the Druffalo's following me. Or is it? Is it following me? It is kind of following me. Huh. How do I lead it back? Is it, is it slow or what? What's the situation here? How safe is this really? Is he gonna come? He's kind of following. The problem is there's a fucked up rift like right over here. Oh, enemies, Coolio. You guys are fucked by the way. I just hope you realize that. Let's have some fun. Okay. I found, you know what guys? I just realized a solution for my problem I've been having. I like having combos. But I didn't want to. But what I can do here is I can I can disable Mighty Blow. Nope, disable. Disable because this can trigger my ice attack. And then I'll go to where is my character? Solus has to load for some reason. There we go. And I'll disable. I'll disable Winter's Grasp. So he won't use Winter's Grasp. My tank won't. My uh, main character won't use Mighty Blow. So now I can manually do a Winter's Grasp Mighty Blow combo whenever I want. And that sounds like fun. Probably start off from this archer that I pulled in just to ruin his day. Need a moment for this guy to finish casting his uh, barrier. There we go. So let's cast, uh, let's do Winter's Grasp on this guy. Make sure that Varric, first of all, Varric, you should probably hang out back here. Uh, and then as soon as the ice goes off, there, we, there it goes. Is he the chilled one? Yes, he is. All right, now, mighty blow. How's this gonna feel, buddy? Is he dead yet? He's pretty much dead. Alrighty then. That one, A-OK. -okay. So that's the thing to do, is I can, I can manually do combos now. And now everyone's pretty much going to take care of themselves. Yep, that went, that went by very cleanly. Wow, I'm about to level up again, too. I do not believe these are simply bandits. Their armor and training suggest something deeper. Enhanced parry ring? Hey! Doesn't my, I think this character has a parry move right now. Does that mean I'm going to have... If I put that on, do I get better parrying? Uh-oh. Nope, rogue only. Increased ability... Increased ability damage by 30 Oh, ability damage for parry. So let's- I'll take a quick look at that. What is, uh... Is this a useful item for me, or do I have to hold on to it for a future character that might be more likely to use it? Because it's- parry's probably a, a melee- yep, melee weapon. Melee attack. You quickly block a stripe made by your foe, and then counter as though- as their own defenses fall. So it's pro- it's just like the parry attack that my- which my warrior has, but- uh, But technically not the same move, unfortunately. So I need to get this Druffalo back. Huh. Is this the Tankalo? I am- I'm fairly active on the subreddit. Just not- not posting, but reading. So, that people have talked about the Tankalo being like- there's like- there's a- oh. There's more bad guys. Let's just deal with these guys then. Hello, friend. Come over here. I hope you like not having organs as much. Okay. Do a little combo. Just for funsies. You're fucked but where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Oh, he's dead. That's where you're going. You're going nowhere. Cause you're dead. But uh, people have joked about the the Tankalo because it's apparently the Druffalo is so strong that he can kind of just take on whatever you encounter along the way. So it might be he might be actually be useful. I wonder if he can help me with the rift problem. Either way, I can probably s looks like the rift's over there, so I can kind of circumnavigate and make it to the farm without it being a problem. So I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this quest because it, it it furthers my interest in making the farmers happy, so they'll help me. Hello, friends. You're... Come over here! <laughs> That's just fun to use. Uh, ice that guy. And get ready for a smash attack when he's frozen. Blam! That shatter damage is not a joke, by the way. Jesus. And now that everyone's dead, let's just finish this guy off through our awesome powers of, I don't know, AI just doing what they want. Is he dead yet? No, he's over here. Hey, friend. Well, that went by smoothly. 
It's so polite of these outlaws to be outnumbered all the time. For the longest time, they were hard to deal with because they weren't. Oh shit, what? I, I messed up, I didn't read that. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. What the hell is, is an enhanced something? That's the one I already have. Rampage ring. Warrior only. Ability duration by 30%. What is rampage? Because, frankly, getting an ab learning an ability that one of these, uh... If I could learn the ability that one of these, uh, things, these, uh, rings are matching up with, I'd, that'd be a great boof boost right there. I, I would, pro I might prioritize learning an ability if I have the, uh, the ring for it. For example, I have Earth Shaking Strike Ring, and so having my Earth Shaking Strike be awesome would be great. The, unfortunately, it's at the bottom of this tree, so I'm, like, four skill levels away from being able to learn it. Is Rampage in here, maybe? Because I've already got a, a couple, some points in here. No. Nope. Really? Is it gonna be in Vanguard? That's- I thought this was like the tank tree. So, it'd be surprising to have Rampage in here. Okay. Well. I- I either didn't find Rampage or I went past it or- Oh, wait! So either I missed Rampage altogether and it's just in there and I'm stupid. Or Rampage is like a... a it's- maybe it's a warrior skill for a subclass I haven't unlocked yet. Because I assume there's going to be subclasses, because there were in Dragon Age Origins, and I think there also were in Dragon Age 2. Huh, people complain about the Druffalo being too slow. He seems to be keeping up, although I, I have been fighting along the way. That might that might help. Alright, we'll be right back up that path in a moment, but I just wanted to deal with, uh... Want to deal with this Druffalo. Where am I supposed to take you, Mr. Druffalo? Do I... What if I click on the Druffalo quest? Does that give, tell me better where to go? There we go. Supposed to go this way. Lead the Druffalo back to the pasture. Is he still following me? He's he's keeping up. He's keeping up over time. I'm stuck in the rocks. Okay. By the way, straight up escort mission <laughs> in the middle of Dragon Age. This game this game is feeling a lot like World of Warcraft as far as the quest structure goes. It very much feels like playing an MMO, which I'm not against because of the story. I mean, not the story, the, uh, the gameplay so far, like, the, the missions are kind of varied and enough to be kind of interesting. Uh, I will say, though, that, uh, when I first started Nightmare Mode, I was kind of avoiding... Not, like, I didn't really have to make any special effort to do so, but I was kind of avoiding going forward in the story, because I didn't, I wanted to level up first. Now, I'm kind of seeking story missions, but I don't really know where they are. Uh, I think if I get enough power and I go to that one other place that requires four power, maybe that'll, uh, help me with the story. Alright, now, now they want me to tell the farmer that he's safe. Oh, what's this? There's a note. The Taventer Imperium. For good or ill, the Imperium has put its stamp on the Th on Thetis forever. The old Imperium Highway is still in use f across most of Thetis. The ruins of Taventer fortresses and, s and centers of magical study still litter our landscape long after the glory of the Imperium dim dimmed. But the influence of that ancient empire goes deeper than this. Without Taventer, there would be no Blights, no Andraste, no Chantry. Every aspect of our world would be altered. The might and majesty of the Imperium may have faded, but it still makes its presence known, even in the most distant corners of Thetis. Every child has been brought up on stories of Tevinter as it is now, a decadent nation ruled by the Archon and his court of magisters, great and no doubt corrupt mage lords. Their, ch their chantry, a mockery of our own, their black divine, a man chosen from the ranks of the, of the Minrathus circle of magi, the maker's most hallowed law, Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him, perverted. Mages in the Imperium say that their most sacred duty is to serve man, and that they serve best by wielding political power. And the worst, that which Blessed Andraste might, must weep to see, all of it is built on a foundation of slavery. While most nations forbid the buying and selling of slaves within their borders, nearly everyone ships people to the Imperium for sale. Skirting the prohibitions against such atrocities and feeding the Imperium's endless hunger for bodies, the might, the fight, to fight the Canari, to work the mines and the quarries, to build the palaces of the magisters, to sweep the crumbling streets, and to turn middens, and to turn the middens and survive the whim of their mage overseers. The Black City, Black Divine, uh, from Black City, Black Divine, a study of Taventer Empyrean by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. More experience. Reading is good because of experience. We're, we're supposed to talk to the farmer about his Druffalo being safe. What does this say? Take mosaic piece. Hey, I'm level five now because I found one out of five mosaic pieces, I guess. Whoa. That was a crazy on-screen explosion that was weirdly delayed. 
it. Only I leveled up, though. Okay, maybe if I talk to this farmer, everyone else will level up. Hello, Druffalo owner. Thank you. I, I appreciate you finding her. And I'll see to it that this never happens again. Yeah! Quest complete. 40 more influence for our, uh, our organization. Let's see, what do I want to teach Mr. Vasti today? Now that I have an actual skill point, which are hard to come by. So I could go, let's see, I already... Part of me is tempted to go to more in the Call of Arms just because of the hardiness of it all. But anyway, let's go into, uh... See, I can make my grappling chain give me a weapon damage boost. Not terrible. I can make myself dam uh, give a reduced speed to people that I attack from behind, which I don't have a lot of control over necessarily. Crippling blows. You know how to take the fight to your foes. Your critical hits leave enemies weakened. So if I crit people, they do less damage. Which leads to the coup de gras. You deal more damage against enemies that are stunned or knocked down. That's handy because I do have attacks that stun and knock down people. So having a damage boost. Reducing enemy damage and damage, do, doing extra damage, both as passives, is not a terrible idea. This gives me armor and damage for my party. There's so many choices to make and I don't really... This one makes me recover stamina more when I am low on it. Let's see. Shield breaker would help me go through armor faster. Flow of battle. We're just... Ah. Uh, I might want to just make my way down here towards Earth Shaking Strike to get my proper, strong, uh, two-handed warrior skills. Uh, the question is which one do I want to use? So this one makes me do more damage against Guard. That's not terrible. This one makes me stun people. Stunning's not terrible because we just established that stunning... We just established that I can benefit from stunning people. On the other hand, here I get, uh... Let's see... Every time I crit someone, they get less armor. Every t and I get an AoE. I get, I get multiple AoE abilities, don't I? Hitting multiple enemies with a single swing of your weapon restores stamina for each extra target. As I get more abilities, I'll be using more stamina, so having something that replenishes my stamina will give me more ability to just DPS like crazy. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go for the damage reduction, the armor reduction, and, and make my way towards earth shaking, earth shaking Strike down that path. That seems like the way to go, I suppose. Okay, so we're back to questing. After a little diversion there, I'm, I need to go back to trying to find this rift. And, oh my god, there's so many things over here now. It's the shards. Farmland security, that's what I was going for. What is this one? Apostates in the Witchwood, okay. We'll go for this farmland security down here, and the rift we should find along the way. I'm going to have to hop back on my horse. And quickly get across there. I guess I'll see you guys when I get back to where that, I met that Druffalo in the first place. Whee!